Hello guys, welcome to my new video. I must tell you this wasn't easy to make due to the amount of laughing we had with Tara. Now I show you what we're gonna do. So this is the result. First I'm going to bring a flower pot here which will create another flower in the background. So today's lesson is how to build an interactive environment. As usual on your watch go to home then backpack and bring out your makeup pen. Our first chip to search will be interactive volume V2. Bring it to the center of the object. Now let's configure it and set it to 2 second holding time, like this. Also search for an animation controller and bring it to the object. Connect the interaction volume to the animation controller, like this. We're gonna use this second rows for the animation. Let's place it somewhere behind the main object, as this rose will be the one what will come up from the ground. Now connect the second object to the top of the animation controller, so you can control it in edit mode. Now press edit and click on the animation controller. You have keyframes here, the rows will be underground on the first frame and the rows will be overground on the second frame. You can click add to add additional frames. Our next chip will be the audio player if you want to play a sound. Also add an SFX or a sample audio constant as the sound chip. Connect the second play button on the animation to the play of the audio player to link them together. The SFX or audio sample goes to the audio port of the audio player. Configure the audio player like this. The audio used channel should be music or sounds and you can also use the 3D audio to keep the sound around you. Now configure the SFX chip to select the sound effect, I go with click in this game. Hi Tara! Do you maybe want to demonstrate? Look, look, the rose is coming up. So exciting. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video and don't mind my face. <laughs>